When it comes to the North-South interconnector, many of you will wonder why the lines cannot go underground. It's a big issue. The development of any new transmission infrastructure impacts on the environment are, are a key concern. Now we did look at the underground option and studies were undertaken. These studies showed three big factors that had to be looked at. In cost, technical risk and impacts on the environment. It's often misunderstood but actually putting in an underground cable can have big impacts on the environment. For example during the construction phase we need about a 22 metre corridor in order to accommodate two cable trenches. There's also restrictions for future land use along that area in terms of hedgerow growing, trees and even future development. When installing a significant cable, that would be the length required for the north-south interconnector, it will have to be converted to DC technology, direct current technology. And this requires substations, large substations, to be built at either end of the line at huge cost. And also, if any industry needed to tap into that line, another converter station would have to be built. These issues all increase the technical risk associated with the underground option when compared to a conventional AC overhead line. Thanks Maeve. For more information on the North-South interconnector and the undergrounding option, you can log on to Airgrid's website. That's airgrid.com.